Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good day to everyone so today I'm going to share with all of you on how to create Microsoft form so first thing you have to open your Microsoft Outlook okay then you click on the form here okay if you couldn't find the apps the form listed in the apps you can click all apps and search it from this uh, section okay so let's say i already click form and then i'm going to create one attendance form okay so to create attendance forms i'm going to use new form so click this new form okay and then you're going to start fill up the form i'm going to create a very simple um, attendance form okay by using only one question Okay, first I'm going to fill, uh, fill the title. So I'm just going to put the attendance form. Let's say the class is going to be on the 5th. 5th May 2020 at 2-3 p.m. Okay. Alright, and a uh, description, I'm going, going to give uh, instruction. Please fill up this form. Alright, okay, I'm going to click, uh, click add new. Okay, and then got a choice. So, a very simple question like attending this class now okay you can put yes and then the second option will be no okay don't forget to slide this button required so because we want all the students to pick the answer before they submit the form okay so that's it that's only one simple question but with these simple questions, I'm going to show you how we can extract not only yes and no, but also together with the email address, name and metric number. Okay, how do we do that? We can change the setting. So how to change the setting? Make sure you go to the three dot here. Okay, click here and then setting. So here, make sure you put, uh, check the button record name. Okay, so record name means that the, uh, the attendance will pull all the email, metric number and also the name of the students from Microsoft Outlook from the system. Okay. And then we check also another box. This is one response per person because we don't want student to answer many times. Okay. And up options for responses, we can activate all the start date. Start date is going to be on the fifth at two. So the students we only able to fill up this form at two and they can only fill up the form up to three o'clock okay if you want to give extra time then you can go for another 30 minutes okay and then customize the thank you message like this okay your response was sent all right that's all okay this is the important part all right so this is our um, attendance form okay let's say you want to change um, put a little bit of color right? or you want to change the theme so you can choose anything here okay okay so you can preview how the form will look like okay this is the form it look like when the student click uh, the link okay, later okay 
uh, this is the view if they're using the computer let's say if they're using the mobile you can click mobile then this is how it's gonna look like on their phone all right you go back okay uh, let's uh, decide on how we are going to share our attendance form so click the button uh, click the menu share here okay uh, here we have two options send and collect response and one with the link can respond or only people in my organization can respond so let's say I'm going to choose only people in my organization can respond meaning that my students okay so I'm if I would like to use the link so I'm just going to copy this link I'm just going to press this copy button uh, let's say if I would like to use QR code then I click the QR code and I can download the file and maybe I can post it or paste it in my slide or I can share it in a WhatsApp or I can put it also in Teams yeah, as a post or in the chat okay we also can share our uh, form by embedded in any web page or you can email okay so I'm going to do it as a link I'm going to copy here and then I'm going to open my teams and then paste it in my teams my class under the post I'm going to put it here okay so you can see that I already posted uh, in my teams the link okay one simple tip you can shorten the link using another app that is called bitly.com okay but i think if you just want to paste um, like this also okay. Okay. Right. okay so that's it you already uh, able to create the attendance form a simple attendance forms and you're able to share with your students okay so let's but we might be wondering how it gonna look like once the students respond right okay I'm going to show you one example uh, remember earlier we set in the setting to it is uh, the form can only be answered on the start and the start date okay on the fifth so we have to off this one for why because we want to test it right okay so I'm going to preview and then I'm going to answer yes I'm going to submit okay you see the response here thanks okay I'm going to go back and then I'm going to click the menu response here you see there's one response already and then you can see the result okay there's a chart here and a number if you want to look at the details more details okay so you can see name and response okay remember earlier we did not ask for the name but because we checked the box about recorded name so it pulled from the system our name and also metric number due to me as a staff not the students so they didn't put any uh, staff number or metric numbers okay but if it's student then you will get the email the name as well as the metric okay so if there are many students then it will be listed all here all right okay if you want to download open in excel you can click this one all right okay i think that's all the sharing i hope you can try and then Perhaps you have uh, other questions, you, of course you can always add another questions, okay? So I think that's all my sharing today. Um, I hope that you can prepare one for your own class. All the best. Bye-bye.